Hello everyone, this is Madhusudan Raj and I am in front of you again with my economic report. So today I very quickly want to discuss why the international prices of the crude oil are dropping right now and what, what impact that is having on the Indian economy, right? So just for example, just today the uh, oil companies reduced, I think last night they reduced the price of petrol and diesel by some paisa. And on the other side, with that, you know, a little bit of reduction of prices of uh, oil and petrol, what the uh, petrol and diesel, what the Indian government actually is doing simultaneously, which is hurting the common man. So first of all, I very quickly want to discuss why the price of uh, crude oil is dropping very rapidly in the international market. So like any other, you know, <coughs> economic good, the prices of crude oil in the international market is determined by the four factors uh, on the one side on the good side the demand and supply of the crude oil in the international market and on the money side the demand and supply of the currency in which this crude oil is trading that means the US dollar uh, that demand and supply of US dollar that is what these four factors coming together in an exchange process ultimately determines the price of any economic good including the crude oil. Now what is happening right now in the international market, in the crude market, in the energy market is that there is a big boom in what we call or what these experts call the US cell gas industry. Uh, now you know that uh, cell gas is you know a kind of a gas which is trapped into rocks and uh, with, you know, by the use of you know very advanced level technology what they call fracking many of the US oil companies in Texas and North Dakota for example are extracting all this gas and oil and everything and that's why there is a you know oil and gas boom going on right now in America the production is very high right now the cell gas industry is producing more natural gas more oil and gasoline and that's the reason why there is a, a glut of the supply in the international crude market there is increase in the supply uh, we already have the OPEC members right we have Saudi Arabia and Iran and everybody so what is happening is that because of this glut the supply is very high on one side and the, on the other side because the world economy is still into recession in fact it, it never came out of that recession after the beginning of that recession in 2007 financial crisis the European for example economies are in doldrums they are right now struggling right Germany or Italy or Spain or France or Britain all of these people are Portugal for example Greece all of them are right now struggling and under recession the American economy hasn't really recovered in fact it has become worse after the you know uh, multiple rounds of what they call quantitative easing so on one side the economy is slowing down it's under recession on, so that means the demand for crude oil is falling and on the other side the supply the glut which has been created by USL industry and on the other side the supply of dollar is also slowly going down what we call the Austrian money supply is slowly going down it's rising but the slowest pace so that's why on the money side also the supply has gone down and that is why what is happening is that the price of crude oil is right now plummeting the Saudi Arabia OPEC countries are right now trying to counteract the US cell industry because they are their competitors the US cell industry is giving very hard competition to the OPEC you know the oil producing all exporting you know producing countries and you know, they are giving them a very tough competition so Saudi Arabia doesn't want the US cell industry to take over their market share so a recently concluded OPEC meeting in Austria in Vienna even into that they block the other members you know demand for cutting the production quota cutting the production and trying to raise the market price of crude oil because other countries need high prices like for example Iran because for them break even point is at a much higher level but for Saudi Arabia they can you know sustain this lower price for a while they of course playing with fire but because they want to compete they want to kind of bring down the US cell industry by keeping the prices lower for a long because at that low price many of the 
US cell industry firms are going to be unprofitable and it is possible that they may go out of business and ultimately that is how Saudi Arabia is trying to counteract this competition. So that is the reason why the crude prices, the crude oil prices in the international market are right now you know, dropping significantly. In fact, in, in last couple of you know months time, they've dropped around forty dollars. They're trading in order around hundred and hundred and hundred and three, hundred and four, hundred and five dollars per barrel. Right now it is trading in around sixty-five, sixty-eight bar you know, dollar per barrel. So that is a significant we can drop in the price. Now what is happening? This price drop in the international crude market should be passed in, you know, basically passed on to the Indian consumer by the Indian oil companies, but that hasn't happened really. Right? What we have seen in the last couple of you know weeks, last month also, the Indian oil companies, which are basically state-owned, they have only reduced the price of petrol and diesel by a couple of rupees, two bucks last time, recently 94 pesos or something like that. Now what is happening very interestingly is the Modi government, the new government in power in New Delhi right now, they are seeing this international price drop as a kind of opportunity to increase the revenue and that's why I think both the time when the price dropped in November, they increased the excise duties, duty on oil and everything uh, and this time also they have increased the duty on oil and diesel. For example, just today, when the uh, Indian firms announced the price cut by some paisa, India on Tuesday raised excise duties on petrol by 2.25 rupees per liter and on diesel by 1 rupees per liter. Now, what excuse they are giving, Modi government is giving the increases which follow similar hikes in mid November. As I said last time, also when the price dropped a little bit, they increased you know, excise duty. Seek to take advantage of a slump in world price to soar up government revenues without stoking inflation. So see, there are lots of you know issues over here. First of all, we common man consumers are not getting benefit of this you know a very heavy decline in the price of crude oil in the international market simply because the Indian government is trying to soar up their revenue by imposing you know higher excess duties on the sale of this you know petrol and diesel per liter two rupees this time around one rupees on diesel so what is happening we have to see the opportunity cost so in the absence of this rise in the excise duty it, is, it was very much possible for these oil companies to pass on higher price cut to the consumers so instead of you know let's say cutting the price by 0 0.94 paisa or something they could have cut the price by 2 rupees, 3 rupees or 5 rupees. But instead of doing that, what they're, what they're saying is they're not increasing the price. But what we have to see is that what they could have done in the absence of this you know, imposition of higher excise duty. No excise duty, they could have raised, the, uh, they could have decreased the price you know, by more rupees instead of just decreasing it by some paisa. So we are not benefiting out of that. And, and the government is saying that they are basically taking this chance and trying to increase the revenue. Now, that's absolutely ridiculous because we don't need government revenues to go up. That is how they are not going to bridge the budget. That is how they are not going to fill the budget deficit. What is required right now is that the Indian government is a behemoth, it's very huge. What we want is the government size to really shrink, not that the revenue of the government to go up. And it's not even revenue, it's you know to call rev you know imposition of excise or any kind of tax revenue is ridiculous, but it is actually robbery looting. Okay, so we don't want the revenues to go up. What we want is the government spending to go down. The problem is not with the revenue, the problem is with the unlimited, uncontrolled spending which is going on right now in India. Uh, that that spending is because the government is basically meddling into each and every affair of this economy. They are intervening into labor market, they are in intervening into industry, into service, into agriculture, into every tiny, you know, small aspect of our life. And that is the reason why they need this money. What, I, what I'm saying is that instead of increasing the Revenue, why don't you just cut down on their spending? Okay, why don't you know they make the government smaller, 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 and ultimately they can just vanish, right? But you know, as I said, they're not, not going to do that right now because, as I said, they have just seen this opportunity to increase the revenue, and ultimately, who's going to suffer? 
we are going to suffer. We are already suffering. We are not seeing lower prices of petrol. As if like this price are always going to remain this elevated. Right? Even if the price of international crude oil is going to draw up, the government is going to continue to increase their excise duty. And in that case, the price will not draw up as much as they, they, they should have and they could have if they did not impose this excise duty. The government did not impose the excise duty. So we are not benefiting after all, right? Uh, the government is benefiting after all. And that is what is going to be the case. Anyway, so this is what I wanted to discuss today, that why the, what is happening in the crude oil market, why the price is falling and why, you know, why we Indians over here, the common man in India, are not getting the benefit of that you know, uh, quite drastic drop in the you know, price of international crude. Anyway, so you know, I will see you later on with another very quick economic analysis. Thank you for watching me and goodbye.